one of the engineers at the blockhouse in Baikonur will insert a launch key, a real launch key, into uh, the uh, mechanism that will transition the launch sequence into automatic mode. A minute and a half later at the T-minus five minute, 30 second mark, launch control will issue a final report that the range at Baikonur is clear and the Soyuz rocket is ready to begin its journey. At the T-minus four minute mark into the countdown, onboard systems will be switched to onboard control. The commander's cockpit displays and controls will be activated and the crew members will be closing uh, their helmets uh, to begin uh, placing their suits on oxygen. You now can see the gantry arms uh, beginning to spread away from the uh, Soyuz booster. Uh, those gantry arms closed around the booster on Saturday after it was hoisted to its vertical position at the launch pad to enable technicians uh, access uh, for the hookup of fuel lines and electrical connections to the booster itself. At the T-minus 2 minute 45 second mark into the countdown, the booster tank will be pressurized for flight, optimizing the flow of fuel, helping to add structural support for the rocket. And about three minutes, uh, about a minute later at the T-minus 1 minute 30 second mark, uh, the ground propellant feed will be terminated and uh, the Soyuz booster will have uh, its entire load of fuel for its journey uphill to its preliminary orbit. One minute before launch, the Soyuz will be declared to be on internal power and auto sequence start will be poised to begin. There are two umbilical towers that you see almost uh, at the bottom of your screen that are buttressed up against the Soyuz booster. The first umbilical tower will retract from the booster at the T minus 35 second mark. And about 20 seconds later, uh, the second umbilical will be on its way with launch scheduled at 1247, will be on its way with launch scheduled at 1247 and 15 seconds AM Central Time, 147 and 15 seconds AM Eastern Time, 1047 AM in Baikonur. Once again, uh, you're hearing uh, the music that is being piped aboard the uh, Soyuz descent module. Uh, this music of choice for Johnny Kim, Sergei Rizhikov, the Soyuz commander, and Alexei Zabritsky, music of their choice to help them uh, relax in the final hour of the countdown. Here in Mission Control in Houston, Flight Director Anthony Varia has pulled his team of flight controllers. They are go for launch. That has been relayed uh, to the Russian flight controllers uh, at the Russian Mission Control Center in Korydov, outside of Moscow.